It's Bill Warren Signs, and um, I had uh, started the company when I moved to Water Valley about four years ago, and um, I had operated a sign, my own sign company about um, 15 years before, back in Providence, Rhode Island, and I ran that for about 15 years. But uh, then I moved to New Orleans, but I didn't do signs in New Orleans, I just did artwork in New Orleans, because I'm an artist. And um, acrylic mostly now, uh, but I've painted in oils and uh, also um, in, uh, I've sculpted, done sculpture. So um, when I moved to Water Valley, I thought, you know, uh, this would be a good opportunity to start my sign business again. And I do all my signs uh, by hand. And uh, they are um, painted uh, in either oil or acrylic. And uh, I like to use um, metal as a material. It's just the most durable and lasts the longest. Yeah. Where, where are some of your signs in the, in the area? Well, it, you can see them throughout Water Valley uh, on Main Street. Uh, the, one of the premier signs that I did was um, for uh, the BTC Grocery. And uh, that was on the facade of the building. And uh, so it spans probably uh, at least 40 feet. And uh, then the other signs that I'm very fond of was I did uh, some signs for Turnage Drugstore. And uh, there's a very classic sign that hangs on the street. And it's done in sort of an old-fashioned uh, lettering style. I actually took the lettering style from, there's a soda fountain in, in Turnage's. And uh, above the so soda fountain, there's this great carved mirror, a, a frame around a, a mirror. And um, it, it says something like Water Valley. And the, the lettering style probably came out of the early part of the uh, 1900s, around 1910 maybe, or something like that. Um, Turnage Drugstore goes back to 1905. And it's, uh, it's a classic early uh, 1900s lettering style. I do mostly uh, new signs, but um, I try to keep it in a historic um, uh, uh, style. Uh, uh, I, I just enjoy the lettering from you know the early 1900s and late 1800s, actually. Uh, but I can do, but I can do anything. I mean, I can do a very modern, clean style also. Yeah. Do you have a studio on Main Street? Or? I actually work out of my house, which is about two blocks off of Main Street. Okay. We, when we moved to Water Valley, I bought a, a house that was very, you know, it's like two minutes walk to Main Street. And um, it's, it's a rather, you know, it's a good size house. And I've always had my studios in my houses. So, uh, you know, about two rooms ser serve as my studio. Great. Yeah. Well, tell me about some of the relationships with the other merchants and the other people in the area and just kind of how y'all y'all are like a family. And yeah, really yeah, so well, I tell you, when uh, we first moved there, Main Street, the uh, association came up and did a charrette. And um, it was a really great visual um, uh, demonstration of how things can change. And so um, the ideas uh, sparked many I mean I was already doing signs but it sparked many people to actually take that jump and do um, a, a business that they'd been thinking about for instance the BTC was a building that um, was actually almost going to be demolished and a young couple bought the building and they um, after you know cleaning the building up inside they um, they put the grocery on the ground floor and then they have these wonderful apartments above. So it's a classic, you know, good use of an older building. And um, you know, that's become almost the, the, you know, the center of the, the heart of downtown. And um, then other people have, you know, also taken the suggestions of Main Street and, and opened their businesses up too. And uh, so we have uh, several galleries now and um, several more restaurants and um, you know things like that are happening and uh, it's just you know a very positive atmosphere right now. And any uh, events or things that you kind of help brainstorm? Or yeah um, you know um, when we got there we, we, the, we, we formed through you know there were people that really wanted to be involved 
And so we formed an art association, an uh, art council, the Water Valley Arts Council. And that has generated several ideas uh, to get people to um, enjoy the arts, but also enjoy the town. So um, we have what is called a studio crawl. In, um, it's either late September or early October. I think it's going to be late September this year. And uh, that um, has been a great success. And what happens there is that um, artists open up their houses and um, they, a lot of them have their studio either in their house or you know, on the, um, on the uh, grounds of their house. And uh, uh, people can come see their studios, how they work, where they work, and also get to see their house. So it's, all, it's sort of a studio and house tour. And um, when we first uh, started that, we had about 20, uh, well, we had about, uh, well, it was about 300, 400 people that came to that, which was, you know, quite a big event. And uh, they really liked, I mean, this is the, the feedback, was they really liked the, um, the, 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 the walkability of the town and the, um, the, the accessibility of the studios because it was really within, I'd say, a, a, a four block radius that, you know, everybody was located. And um, the, the Beaux-Arts Gallery, which is located on um, the center of downtown, was kind of the starting point. And then they take the walk to the studios and we have a map for them to, you know, find the places. And uh, there was always uh, food and, uh, you know, um, sometimes music, uh, live music playing at the other studios. So we had about, um, I think the first one we started off with maybe eight or nine venues and now it's grown to probably 12 to 16. And uh, it's, it's a very good way to, you know, not only promote the arts, but, you know, to promote the town as far as, you know, the beauty of the houses. And that's one thing I was very impressed when I came to Water Valley was the architecture. It was very interesting and unique. And uh, it, uh, it, just, it, it, it just had a lot of historic uh, qualities that I liked. Yeah. Thank you so much. Anything else you want to say about Water Valley or, or Main Street? Or? Well, I think the Main Street organization, the Main Street Association, is just a great organization, and uh, we're all very happy that you know um, we're part of it, and it's uh, very inspiring.